idea for um, the Phoenician project in um, 2005 when I was researching into the first contacts with the African continent. During that research uncovered uh, the fact that the Phoenicians were the first uh, recorded people to have actually circumnavigated Africa in about uh, 600 BC. So um, then I thought, well, that's really worth investigating and uh, potentially doing an expedition um, from it. So, yeah, early 2005, I started work, work on, the, on the project. The project is about recreating what we consider one of mankind's greatest journeys. The first circumnavigation of Africa, which is believed to have been achieved by the Phoenician mariners around 600 BC. The construction process began in 2006 where Philip and another colleague of his, a boat builder, travelled to the Middle East and did a recce of boat builders in the area to see who might be able to take on such a difficult project. And they came across some boat builders in Arwad, Syria, which was still using a traditional um, wooden shipbuilding method and came from a family, a generation of wooden shipbuilders called the Hamoud family. And Philip appointed them as the, the shipwrights for this project. So the building began in 2007 and gradually over the course of nine months a beautiful Phoenician ship was created using traditional Phoenician methods such as the plank first construction where they made the hull first without putting any ribs inside. Um, they used mortise and tenon joints. They tried to source traditional Phoenician materials. They used Aleppo pine, olive olive wood and then the construction process was really completed in August 2008 which is when the sea trials began and the launch of the expedition began as well. Last November Khalid and his wonderful team started the building of this, this great ship but it's not just a very beautiful ship it's also a very strong ship. We'd like, on behalf of the crew, to thank Khalid from the bottom of our hearts for the wonderful work that he's done.